as the season is approaching, it obviously makes a guy feel a little more chipper because we spend a lot of time in the off season preparing for the upcoming season. The off season, when we're not racing, it seems like it lasts twice as long as the actual racing season does. I'm excited every year to get winter time over with. I hate the cold weather, so it's just a matter of let's, let's warm back up, let's go racing again. What little off season I have could be a month or two rather than an extended time off. It just seems like a brief break in the action to where I can kind of reset and then go again. That small time off I don't really notice so much because you stay so busy in, in between time that it just, race season is here again. If you don't work hard in the race shop to make sure that your cars are right, your equipment's in one piece, your stuff's not going to wear out, you're never going to win races, you're not going to learn, you're not going to get any better. During off season it's hard to work on a car because you don't get to go race it Friday. You get to work on it and then you don't get to race it. And you get to work on it some more and you still don't get to race it. Next thing you know it's New Year's and you're like, I gotta get going on this. And then it's February and it's not last minute, but you're it's getting there. And so it just kind of turns into a, if you're not so far along by that point, almost going to killing yourself trying to get it done. Then you're, you get to like March, because that's usually when our first race is, and you're like, oh my, it's March, my car's not ready. You start getting panicked. The week before the first race of a season is always the slowest week of my life. <laughs> it's usually probably the most stressful. Usually you have most everything done, but then it gets into, you know, you're trying to get all your tire work done, getting the trailer cleaned out, getting the trailer ready to go, uh, getting everything in order. That way it's ready to go, so that way when you pull into the racetrack, you're not still scrambling around, running around doing things that you could have done two weeks ago. You've put in so much time and hard work for getting prepared for that day that it's just, there's an overwhelming amount of excitement and, and joy knowing that your hard work gets to pay off again. Leading up to that last day, it can get pretty hectic. And it will be until the second you drive on the track and you forget about it all. You gotta go out there and have fun for everything that you do for the amount of time you put in there. I mean, if this isn't fun, then why are you doing it? <laughs>